so so I can tell so the basically you're putting content out there to kind of put your brand out there that that bringing that back to kind of so so even any business in your in your specific it's property um but in, in any business is that are you finding that you know pushing these, this content out at scale in terms of you know how to videos related to your particular sector maybe you're going to start talking about basement conversions in depth in your particular anything related to somebody's sector are you finding that that's that's paying off and that's bringing you new business in a hundred percent even in this market everyone's in lockdown everyone's twiddling there for funds i'm not i'm in my office at home i'm hustling bustling more than i've ever hustled in my life before you know every time i go out in the morning i take a video take some videos of me walking a dog six minute video up on youtube bosh done that, that, that video is then mashed up into one minute videos, 30 second videos, 10 second videos for all the social media platforms. And um, yeah, just, and, and you know, last week I um, secured a job in uh, West London, house refurb, only a small one. Um, it, needs, it needs planning first, but say it's a 150 grand, 200 grand job. And also uh, with the inquiry through Facebook for two new build houses with basements literally all the time we, we run facebook ads um i've got uh, matty in my office he's, an, he's my intern he manages the facebook ads we're having inquiries every day this is people at home walking around their house bored thinking mm, what can we do to make this house better when life gets back to normal it's the same as you you know, people are sitting at home looking at social media, looking at the dream cars, Range Rovers, Porsches, Ferraris and BMWs thinking, do you know what? When I get out of this shit, I'm going to buy myself a new car or a new watch or something. It's not dead in the water at all. Mm. My 16 year old daughter, she's on, you know, she's up in her bedroom watching hours and hours of social media. I'm trying to say, don't start, don't consume content all the time. Create the content. The time is now, you know, especially for you. You know, you, as I said to you the other day, you can still sell cars today. Yeah. You can still, you can, this, the, the government is not locking you down that you can't make business. It's, it, they don't, they're not saying that. If you can go and sell a car today, you can do a car. If it needs to be pre-checked or pre-signed off, that can be done at another day. You know, the car's safe. The warranty can be put on later on. If, the, if I wanted to buy a Rangey today and I've said, right, I transfer 100 grand into your account today, I want it today, I'll drive up to your place, let's worry about all the, all the, 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 the dots and ticks you know, later on. You can still sell motors today. Yeah, yeah you're right. I think, um, I think it's a clear example of, of just innovating through, through, through a tough market. If you're a lot of property people, I imagine, are sat around. Yeah, I, mean, I know builds are still going ahead, but um, kind of still sat around, kind of not really not really doing kind of waiting for the market to adjust blaming the market where whereas you sat there it's, it's fresh to hear it's, it's great to hear that you, you're talking about the, the music to my ears facebook ads you're talking about google ads if you're getting inquiries through facebook on new build for me that's that's an example of, of 2020 you know yeah. who, who would have thought that a social media platform where we post pictures of our holidays and and moan about people moan about the jobs and everything is now starting to become an inquiry lead source for for you i mean you know it's about 150 grand job um through social media that that it's unbelievable to see that you're doing that and and, and i can see that it, that's obviously you that's your brand i think we saw about the other day if you went and started a plumbing firm you wouldn't be just doing local but you, you, you'd be gaining plumbing work from facebook i imagine wouldn't you if i if i was a plumber i would make sure i was the best plumber in my local area even if i wasn't i would pretend i was Everything would be, I would be talking as if, you know, if I was a plumber in Fulham, you know, hi, my name's Nick Jeffries. I own the best plumbing business in Fulham. No, none of my competitors can come close to me. If you want, the, if you want any plumbing services, give me a call today. Bosh, 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 wham, wham, wham. Say that a hundred times a week out there on social media. People are going to call you. It's just how it is. Look at the old, look how the old double glazing window companies used to promote on TV. Like that, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Selling, like, no, that was more selling. Now it's n not so much selling, it's more branding. It's more telling people what, what's out, what you're doing. 
hi, my name's Nick. Hi, my, my name's Luke. I, I run the, you know, a, a prestige car company based in so-and-so, you know, it's just saying that so many times. So people, when, it, when the time's right, they come to you. That you sell them the car, you sell them the dream car, you get the finance sorted, you get the best deals for them. You give them a, something for free, give them more value. Free, obviously all cars are gonna be valeted. Make, you know, fill the car up with a tank of fuel, give them something else. Give them yeah. a year of a car, car cleaning for free. You know, it's just, it's just something, you know, I made, when I first got into business, my, my business was car washes. I had car washes all over Southern England. Oh, wow. I, used okay. to, I used to find car wash sites. I used to set them up and then I used to bring in sort of Romanian and Bulgarian teams to run them. And I used to sell the business. So I used to set them up. I used to then sell the business and that's how I used to make money. I used to have contracts of NCP. I used to have contracts in Gunwolf Keys car park in Portsmouth. I used to have my own little dry, at that 20 years old, I used to have a, dry, a drive through hand wash in South Sea in Portsmouth. But hustling, always hustling. If, if, a, if someone came in for a five pound car wash, I would, up, I would upsell them to a 20, 20 quid wash, interior windows, hoover, dust, wind, wheels, tire trim. That's that, and, that, and all these shitty jobs makes you how I am today, hustling. Yeah. You know, so all these people about education, education, you know, I don't know whether you went to school. I hate to school. I used to bunk well, I off school. I completely agree with you. Completely agree with you. I, I have this conversation with a lot of people that the kind of standard process of, um, of school and then I think A-levels or B-tech and then university. I think it's, it's a system. It's designed to create, in my opinion, uh, it's designed to create average. You know, you go through that and it's not, it's not designed to create and I think it's frowned upon when you when you when you jump into an apprenticeship. But a lot of the time, these apprenticeships are the ones who are, who are diving into the arena from day one straight after school, or, or or they're getting a job straight from school. That's seen as in the education world. That's seen as they're almost frowned upon. Oh, you're not going doing your A levels and everything. Um, you know, it, 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 I think I was at a case where I went to and I was just falling into the next thing because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I, I went to school and I fell into some course on B Tech. Then I fell into a business course and then I just completely dropped out um, and I just started selling cars. But I think um, overall, it just, I think the education system for me is it, it, designed to create average, you know, unless you're aiming to be a top level lawyer, but I, I've got, I know people who've done law degrees. Who, who, it's the middle class. You know I mean? it's, exactly. It's the, it's the middle class. It's too, like everyone wants to have to own their own house. Everyone wants a, a nice couple of cars. Everyone wants a holiday. They want a nice watch, and then they're happy. Yeah. No chance. That ain't never going to happen. I'd rather have nothing. I'd rather put everything on the line any any day of the week than be normal. A million percent. There's no way. You know, my missus would love me to be normal. I said, look, I am abnormal. I'm very <laughs> abnormal. And after 15, 16, 17 years with me, she knows that. So she's given up on me. She knows I'm abnormal. Sure. We're either going to make money or lose money. That's it.